a speech assignment to do and you don't know where to start. Well, in a few minutes you will know three simple tips to make any talk you give memorable rather than snorable. Let's see how it's done. <coughs> Good morning Mr. Radbridge students. Today I'll talk to you about DNA replication. <coughs> now, I chose to do my assignments on how those um, molecules, uh, proteins, are made. Deoxyribonucleic acid is better known as DNA and is responsible for making proteins. Sir, if you haven't got the audience's attention in the first 30 seconds, you've lost them. Okay, so I think we can all agree that was a useful demonstration of what not to do. Now, with a teeny bit of extra effort, it is easy to turn what you have learned in your assignment into a talk that anyone would want to listen to and hopefully benefit from. Let's go through the three basic elements of any persuasive talk. The first element, the sizzling start. Yes, that means grab the attention of your audience. But how? Pose the question. How is it possible to turn my little goldfish into a living, moving, glow-in-the-dark light? The bold declaration. Did you know that every cell in your body has the same instructions to make every part of you and in theory it is possible to clone each and every one of you from just one of your cells? But how, may you wonder? Be a storyteller. What do you do when doctors offer nothing new on how to treat a personal issue? In my case, I realised I just had to figure out things for myself. Tell a joke. What do you call it when you see a cell holding a cell phone? A selfie! Now don't you hate it when your teacher says that in your talk you have to talk about the pros and cons or discuss different points of view? So you started with a sizzling start and you've got the audience's attention. Now you need to keep it by tightening the tension. In other words, build up the suspense. Just like a story novel, you could have twists and turns. And in science, you talk about the pros and cons. You discuss the different points of view and ideally build it up to a crescendo. One technique to argue your point is, listen. I believe that we can give our middle class relief and provide working families with a road to opportunity. I believe we can provide jobs to the jobless, homes to the homeless, and reclaim young people in cities across America from violence and despair. I believe that we have a righteous wind at our backs and that as we stand on the crossroads of history, we can make the right choices and meet the challenges. But you get the idea. Notice the repetition in threes? Great for public debate and for keeping everyone's attention. There's something universal about threes. Good. Hey, hey. After the crescendo, it's time to wrap up with... The exciting ending! Restate your key points to justify your opinion and try to end with a one line clincher just like a salesperson would. There's no way without DNA that anything living could be made. Alright, minions, what are the three key elements of any speech? Sizzling star! Tight intention! Exciting finish! Good! <laughs>
Will you? We're shooting! Are you like out of your mind? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, minions. What are the three key elements of any speech? I got more, more emphasis, more, more conviction. Um, Shut up! Alright, minions. Like a pyro voice or whatever. Alright, minions. What are the three key elements of any speech? Guys, we're recording. Okay, um, more like a pyro voice. Louder, slower. Okay. And more emphasis. Okay. All right, minions. All right, minions. Where are the three key elements of any speech? Shh. I'm recording. I've been recording for a minute and fifteen Already? seconds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's what we're doing. To conclude the speech, the three steps are. <laughs> okay, sensible now. Okay, what's the answer? Sizzling star. Oh, time and tension. Exciting ending! Okay, Who let's do that again. Okay, let's do that again, alright? Alright. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there are lines there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, minions. Alright, minions! What are the three key elements of any speech? Good, good, <laughs> okay. Right, that's, that's good, good. Uh, one more time, one more time. Oh, okay. Okay, um, and, okay. Shh. There's something universal about threes. Good, hey, hey. <laughs> So, so, if you haven't got the audience's attention in the first 30 seconds, you've lost them. Okay, can I one more time? No, and make it loud, clear, slower, and emphasize sir, and you've lost them. Okay. Sir, if you haven't got the audience's attention in the first 30 seconds, you've lost them. Good. Deoxyribonucleic acid is better known as DNA and is responsible for making proteins. I did it! So your talk made no sense. Where can I get more info? Okay, can you say that again. So your talk made no sense. Where can I get more info? And louder. So you're talking about no sense. Where can I get more info? That's good. I need more attitude though. And louder and more attitude. So keep it loud and more attitude. So you're talking about no sense. Where can I get more info? Okay, um, maybe a bit too exaggerated. I'll come closer because the audio will be better closer. Okay, again. So you're talking about no sense. Where can I get more info? Perfect. Okay. Good.